hello my youtube family welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am discussing about my uh, studies uh, related queries and questions i recently took admission in chinese university for mbbs program which is a uh, six year program in that country and uh, uh, my first semester is complete and second semester is going on so let's discuss about it its ad admission uh, notifications its eligibility criteria and so more things so let's get started question is um, how you start the your session so firstly chinese session is starting in which there are three chinese exams are there which is chinese reading chinese comprehensive and chinese listening don't worry about its preparation because uh, university provides it okay so don't worry about it and it is very easy i clear my first semester exam midterm exam and final exam at a very good score second question is this is china is safe for the girls or not i am taking admission in china i know i am not going to china uh, but as i am listen to my seniors that china is a very safe place very strict place for the girls uh, so don't worry about it the university um, the university infrastructure their qualifications their study material is very good enough to be a great doctor so don't worry about it question is this is cadaver available in the university or not yes the cadaver is available in the university and there are practical exams also just like indians university have so that's it okay so many students be curious about this question that is the chinese internship valid in india or not yes it is valid in india but uh, as the latest nmc notification is coming so you have to take internship in that country and in india also so uh, it is applicable that you ha should have to do internship in china and then india fifth question is this why chinese language is compulsory for the international student this is very common questions asked by the students अरे यार जब तक आपको चाइनीज़ लैंग्वेज नहीं आएगी चाइनीज़ में चाइना के अंदर हॉस्पिटल्स में आप इंटर्नशिप कैसे करोगे पेशेंट्स का पेशेंट्स को जो बीमारी है जो उनको प्रॉब्लम है वो कैसे समझोगे तो चाइनीज़ लैंग्वेज इज मस्ट ओके सो सिक्स क्वेश्चन इज वेयर इज योर कैंपस एंड हाउ यू टू द एडमिशन इन द चाइनीज यूनिवर्सिटी so basically i took admission through a consultancy which is known as china admission consultancy i share you the link in the the description box you can check it out uh, now my university name is south east university nanjing china so uh, nanjing is the uh, city in the china where mostly international students are coming so uh, there is no worry about the uh, you know you don't feel alone in that city because there is lot of international students such as indians pakistani and many more countries. Nanjing, the capital of Jiangsu Province, a historical city that is full of vitality, a merge of the classics and modernity. It involves a long story, no matter if it's glorious or devastated. It reflects a few years of history, the serendipity of a golden land, the perfect combination of the East and the West. 
ancient capital of the modern city. We are here to tell the origin of the modern China spirit. Time flies. Flies like an arrow. The scar in the diaries of John Wayne has already become part of history. On behalf of our cultural memory, we begin to write new stories for this land. This would be an epic for us. One more thing, if you have any query related to the China admission notification or whatever you want to ask for me, just message me without hesitation on my Instagram handle. I will surely and surely 100% reply to you. So don't worry. Bye-bye. China, take us back soon. Because China is not borders open their borders. I don't know कब वो अपने borders open करेंगे rumors भी फैल रहे हैं कि जल्दी करेंगे नहीं करेंगे but कोई official notification अभी तक नहीं आया है अगर आता है तो मैं आपको जरूर share करूँगी if you like my video please do subscribe and yes don't forget to follow me on the Instagram here it is the link in the description box so bye bye let's share the video